Good morning, folks. It's about 6.52 a.m. And today I'm going to show you a day in the life of a college hockey player. It's something I've prolonged. It's something that I've wanted to do. And I'm excited to really show you today. I'll give you some context about today. It's a Tuesday. We usually play our games on Fridays and Saturdays, back-to-back -back games. But we're playing a game against Arcadia today. So it's a little bit unorthodox, which is okay. It's going to be a little bit of everything. It's at 5 o'clock today on a Tuesday. So we're leaving halfway through our day around 2, 2.30. And uh, we're gonna roll with it from here, but I appreciate you being here and uh, I can't wait to take you on my journey. On the fly here, I'm gonna show you a little bit of my morning routine. First thing I do in the morning is I try and strap up, get a little bit of clothing on and just get my ass out of the door. Whether there's sunlight or not, I try and just at least get some natural light in me. And at the same time, throughout this walk, I'll try and do some deep breath work. So it's just some basic stuff. So I'm going in through my nose, I call it the obnoxious breathing technique. Once I'm done my walk, I head inside, I'll make a smoothie, and then we're also gonna do a little bit of stretching, so come on in. A little bit of the inside of the house. It's quiet in here, so we have to be careful. Oh, there's a sleeper. Well, this is amazing. My tripod just broke, so today we're going to be just doing everything hands-on or hands-free, or not hands-free. Nothing's gonna be hands free today. It's gonna be hands only. So now I just go through a little bit of morning routine, a little bit of stretching routine. Um, try to quite stay as quiet as possible as we, uh, we get some friends sleeping. Once I'm done stretching, usually that'll trigger me to go make a smoothie, go hop in the shower. So we're gonna go do those things. I'll show you my smoothie ingredients, but if you do want my stretching routine and stuff like that, all you gotta do is click the link in my bio and go to my school community. I do a lot of this guided stuff for completely free. So check that out and I'll link it below. If not, all good, continue. Let's go. Oh, that was nasty, dude. On camera, are you kidding me? You bet your ass I'm putting that on fucking camera. All right, let's go make a smoothie. So now that my tripod's broken, I'm doing the best I can to try and maneuver every single object, like right here. I have my air fryer pan right now that I'm gonna be using in order to balance myself. Stay tuned and stay proactive, but let's make ourselves a smoothie. So the first thing I do, I put water first in my smoothie. I'm literally just using a Ninja Blender. I'll fill it up to 200 milliliters and I'm gonna put the rest in as we go here. So if you want to know ingredients, here's what we got here. I got a bunch of different stuff. So I got a mango organic mixed fruit. I have some blueberries, I have some chia seeds. I put two bananas. I have some collagen powder. I use a tablespoon of salt or a half tablespoon of salt. I use some Greek yogurt, some almond butter, and then I have some creatine and glutamine just for muscle repair. And then I also have agave or organic honey. Either one of them works. I just use that as a simple carb that I can put in my smoothie so I can have fast energy um, during the game. This Here's what my smoothie looks like with a half of it in. And I'll show you when it's blending. Blend it outside because we want to respect our uh, sleeping roommates. We're up kind of early. Once our smoothie's all ready to go, we'll wrap that up. We don't have much space in the smoothie today, but it's gonna be a good pre-game meal, so let's do it. So for this type of endeavor, I go outside, put on my trash bag, and um, the whole street that's uh, super, super busy in the morning, and I plug in this beautiful smoothie. Come on, come on. Boop. These are the four go-to drinks for the day. I got my smoothie, I got my Gatorade, I got a coffee, and then I got a nice big hydro flask there full of water. All of them contain a little bit of salt. Half tablespoon of salt in here, half tablespoon, half tablespoon, and then a little bit of pinch of salt in my coffee, just so that I can kind of keep myself hydrated. But now I'm gonna go shower and do some personal things and I'll meet you back in the car. So I'll see you very shortly. Just kidding, we're on the look good, feel good trend. So today's fit is looking like this. We get some boots, never really wear boots. The big puffer coat, get the Calvin Klein, match Calvin Klein, I got green pants. Let's go uh, win ourselves a hockey game today, but let's be prepared to do so. Inside the car on game day, we got leftover skates. Look at these skates, my friends. Finally got new skates, so that's a good thing, but these things were just beat up to shit. Uh, regardless, we're all good. Let's go start the car. Car has started, it's full of frost, but uh, we're ready to go. Go, Kwame. 
<laughs> you want to wave to the camera? I'm doing the travel vlog today that you've been waiting for. There you go. There you go. You want anything for the people? I'm getting sick. I feel like it's everyone is. Fun. Everyone's getting sick a little. Sniffies. I feel that in my throat. I know. I was coughing like a madman last night. Oh shit, there's a car. We are at school now. Say hello to Cole in the background. Uh, today we got classes 8 a.m. and then also a 9.25. They're both like an hour and 15, hour and 25. Uh, classes, so we'll be done at 10:40 today, and then we'll come back and eat. So I'm gonna try and get some filming class and uh, see what we can do here. But your thoughts on game day? What do you What do you think about on game day? Um, I'm a goalie, so kind of try and think about almost nothing on game day. Just kind of take in the day as it is. If you think about it too much, then you try a little too hard. It doesn't really go your way. So. Do you do anything new on game day? Uh, or do you like have a specific ritual or routine? do a lot of visualizing. So I'll basically pretend like I'm in the net and that someone on the other team is coming down to shoot on me and I'll make the save in my head. So as I go throughout the day, I'll progress more and more into putting myself in the rink, in the net, and like seeing myself win. So, I like that. Good. All right. Rituals and routines. Um, some visualization. I like it. Um, because your brain doesn't actually know what's uh, real and fake. So if you can do that, you can uh, actually make it reality. So peace out. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Cole. I literally just walked into class to know that like nobody was there. And just realized class starts at 8.30, not 8.15. So anyway, we'll carry on. But for now, I'll probably just sit here and just do some editing and some short form content. I'm gonna need my phone back, but I'll talk to you in a little. So I was told we were having a nutritionist come in today, so I'm kind of interested to see what exactly they have to say because I'm pretty dialed into that food and nutrition space, so I might ask a couple of questions. We will uh, we'll soon find out. completely wrong in social work. Class is done, we move on to the next one. vlogging thing is not easy without a tripod. Now I go walk down this massive hill before class and uh, here we go. I'm trying to balance this camera. Fuck, I can't balance the camera. Here we go. Let's go baby. To do something that's pretty ballsy and I'm kind of afraid to do it but I'm gonna walk into class as if I'm vlogging while I walk in so we'll see how this kind of goes. I don't know if I'm gonna say much, but I'm gonna try and get uncomfortable and do this. Because I'm filming all this, I'm gonna be late to class, so it's gonna look so fucking awkward. Here we go. All right, we're filming what we're doing to class today. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. We got a little uncomfortable and nobody gives a shit anyway, so I think we're okay. I have no idea what's going on in this class. It's business statistics. It's a class I absolutely don't admire. I, I don't even know the word. It's not hate, but it's definitely dislike. Anyway, carry on. I sit beside my boy Money. Hopefully you're okay with camera. I'm vlogging on YouTube today, so uh, money's the man, and uh, nobody can tell us otherwise. That's all I around. He means business today. Sign in on the signature. Yeah, I also got a cut on my finger, so that's cool. Debris from a band aid. Look at that. Yeah. 
Joe's class is done and now we head home to have our pre-game meal. I want you to comment below what you think I'm eating before you even get to the video. Let's go. And we have some friends. Here we go. What's up, Lincoln? You know, you don't want me anymore. All right. Hey, pup. What up? What up? I'm a Tommy. That's our teammate. Here we go. Roommate. And uh, here's the house. You haven't really seen inside the house too much. And uh, there's the vehicle as well. We love gas caps, by the way. All right, let's eat. The first snack I always grab is just an apple, just because it's easier to snack on while I'm preparing my food and stuff like that. Today we got some chili and we also have eggs on top, so I'm gonna take it over. And then we're gonna turn this air fryer on for about 10 minutes or so. so. We'll put this bad boy right in the air fryer machine and it'll sit in there for 10 minutes and we'll be good to go. We'll there goes my apple. So now that we're on cooking duty for the day, I'm just gonna have a couple eggs that I'll put on top of the chili as well. And in the meantime, I'll snack on some dates as well, just so that I'm kind of just having fun throughout the process. Oh my God. This is the first time I've ever had a, there's a seed in the date. They're non-pitted, or they're pitted dates, so there shouldn't be any seeds. Anyway, weird things happen on these days. Put salt powder, just pop that on there. I know it gets a little burnt, but that's okay. I like it like that. And then I'll also have much time. I'll put a stick of butter on there. I feel like I'm rushing throughout this process while I'm filming. Basically, all of it is there. I basically burnt the garlic. I shouldn't have put it in there, but I'm just gonna crack these two eggs and they'll be good to go. If I can crack them properly. Now we got two fried eggs ready to go to put out right on top of our, uh, our chili. So we have today ourselves our chili. I had some cucumbers on the side and then I just threw the eggs on top for the last two minutes in the air fryer just so then can kind of get a little bit of crisp. But um, that's our pregame meal. We got lots of carbs. We got a little bit of protein, um, but we try and not go too high on the protein pregame. We try and keep it light, simple, but also at least digestible or at least to the point at which you feel full. What you wanna do is you wanna try and keep it at least like well balanced throughout the day. You want you don't wanna be eating too much fat or too much protein because carbohydrates are more of your driver on game day. Those are the energy producers per se. So that could be rice, that could be that could be beans, that could be bread. I don't eat bread too much, but I'm usually more um, complex carbs, which is more so like fruits, vegetables on game day. So right here, chili has beans, tomatoes, mushrooms, all that good stuff, onions. But then I'm also adding some eggs and some ground beef for protein. And then also have some cucumbers. So keeping it light, keeping it simple. I'm not, um, I'm not overdoing it, overcomplicating it, but I'm having enough so I feel full throughout the rest of my day. Cheers. Gotta let it cool down though first. Almost done here. The last bite. Cheers. After I'm done eating, I'll go for about a 10, 15 minute walk. Just walk around, get some sunlight, get my body moving per usual. Then around one o'clock, once I'm done packing my clothes, I'm gonna hit the ice bath for a little bit and then do a little warm up slash cardio workout just before we hit the bus because we're on the bus around two o'clock. We play for five o'clock today. And a couple things that come to mind on this walk is when it's game day, I always think about the days before is where you prepare for your success. It's not necessarily on game day, although I would love to like do every single thing right. The day does not just flow the way you want it to flow sometimes. That's why it's important to make sure you're just doing all the little things such as eating right, recovering properly, getting the right sleep, 
the days coming up to game day. Don't worry too much about what's happening on the day of the game. It's just worrying about how can I prepare myself and serve myself to feel the best way I can on game days. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really feel that good today. Like everyone's kind of getting that, the sniffles. I've had a cough for the last like three or four days, but what I did tell myself I needed to do is make sure I got enough sleep the night before so i was in bed maybe before 10 30 last night and i was up by 6 30 so i was trying to still do something that i knew i could check off my box in order to feel like one i deserve to play well today and two feeling actually good when it comes to game day so take it as a grain of salt but the more you check off your boxes the more you're going to feel prepared and the more you're going to feel like you deserve to actually perform well at the end of the day back inside we're going to go get changed get ready to go Here we are. For those who don't know, I actually live with two other roommates in one room. I have the bunk bed that you see up top here. Then I have my brother Tyson and my boy JD right here. And we live all in this room. And there's just one bathroom that we all share. But for now, I'm just gonna pack up and get ready for the game. So then I have all my like warm up gear and everything like that. Shoes, bands, whatever it needs. And uh, I'll be heading to the ice bath right after this. So I don't really have time to come back home. I'm just gonna pre-pack everything so I'm ready to go. And actually, before I get dressed and whatnot, I'm going to watch a little bit of game film. So you'll see a little bit from over the weekend, just so then I can kind of track my habits and what I've been doing, what I've been doing good, what I've been doing bad, and see what I can do differently in order to uh, be successful tonight. But unfortunately, you can't do that if your laptop's dead. So I'm going to charge that, and then I'm going to get ready, and then we'll come back to the film. We're watching game film now. I'm just watching a couple clips. I don't really have much time. It's around 12:10 uh, right now. I got to beat the rink for 1:30, and I still want to get an ice bath in. So just watching some quick film, just kind of recognizing what I'm doing, what I haven't been doing, and uh, what I can be doing to make my game a little bit better. And since we like goals, I'll show you the goal I scored here. Harold Jr. couldn't stop, but it's a breakaway on the way for Croucher. Score! Backhand five hole. But unfortunately, I didn't stick with my man here. I ended up going to this guy too early, and it caused a two on one. And they literally scored five seconds after. So that sucked. All right, my friends, here's what's going on the road with me. I don't have much time. It's about 12.30 now. I still gotta get in the ice bath by 12.45, so I can get to the rink by 1, 1.30ish. Here we go, we got our hydro flask. I got my smoothie. I got my water bottle. My water bottle will have a little bit of salt in there. Everything will have salt in here, um, but I'll also have some agave or some honey in here. So I'm drinking it during the game. Here we'll have creatine, some glutamine, and all the fruit berries that you saw this morning. And then also the water bottle. We'll just refill it as we go. But uh, I'll see you at the bus and maybe the ice bath. Then I also put an apple, some walnuts, and whatever meal we'll have after the game as a team. This is just like a compliment and a little dessert for me. And then we'll also, don't forget, quick cup of coffee in the mix of all that with a little bit of salt, and we'll be good to go. Oh, where are you? Link just hanging out. Link and the boys. Well, we'll be good to go. Let's go. We're heading to the ice bath. Let's go. Just started to realize how much battery life it takes to actually record a day in the life. So I'm hoping that there's some outlets on the bus or something like that because I'm running low. But I got an outlet right now inside my beautiful car right now. So we're running. On the charging block, baby. We're good to go. I just walked into the facility. This is called the Miranda Center. This is where the volleyball team and the basketball team usually plays. Um, and this is where the athletic center is. And down below, we'll be taking our ice bath. So let's go. The ice bath has been initiated. We're ready to go. Because I want to do this in a timely fashion, this is what I'm walking with. I want to see some real speed. No tripod, so I'm getting creative as possible. Here's our ice machine. Pop this. Use one of these bad boys. This is an absolute ton of ice. Oh, don't do that. I don't know. A little reckless when we do this. First one is done. Make this more efficient. One on top of the other, and we're gonna wheel this thing back to its place. Probably put this bag away here because it's a little wet. And the struggle of having a tripod is you're just trying to get creative as you go. The thing that 
I had to resort to grabbing a hose from over here so then I can fill this up a little bit quicker, but I'm gonna hit the bike now, so let's go. Alright, because I have no one to film me, I'm gonna be hopping in here for about two minutes, nothing longer, nothing shorter. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. While I'm in here, I don't really have a place to put my camera, so I'm just gonna be sitting right here with you. I'm just going in for two minutes, nothing long. It's not that cold, it's only about, it's only about 55 today, so um, it's honestly warmer than usual. I'm usually in here around 50 degrees, 52-ish. All right, we're done now, and uh, we can finally have some peace in the road. Peace in our life. That's done. Ice baths do, a lot of people don't know, it just literally just floods oxygen to your brain and it defeats something called brown or it reduces something called brown fat, um, which is good for inflammation and stuff like that. I don't really know the few research, but I know I feel freaking good after it, so not fun to do, but um, good to feel after the words. So I'll see you at the bus stop. Make it. I gotta go. I gotta go. Sit here quickly, trying to get ready as soon as possible. I gotta get to the rink for 1.30. The bus leaves at uh, 2, so it's about like 1.15 right now, and uh, the drive is about 7 minutes, so uh, we're definitely kind of close to time to single these. But hey, we like to live life on the edge, so who cares? Let's go. Here we go. Um, this is the look. We got some polos, we got our belt, we got our khakis and our shoes, and we're good to go. 116, I think we're gonna be just all right getting to the rink, but uh, definitely cutting it close here when it comes to uh, showing up on time. <laughs> All right, we made it in stellar fashion. It is 1.25 p.m. We are good to go. And uh, oh, we got some more deliveries on the way. Let's go. All right, let's head inside. Let's go check out the dress the dressing room. We're into the ring. That's the ring. Oh, look at you good looking guys. I'm vlogging today, so welcome to the vlog. Welcome to game day. Welcome to game day. Here we go. Can you imagine this? <laughs> what are you doing right now? Grab your towel, grab your gets. Cool. Casual. If they're not, then that. If they're not, then so we're packing the bus now. Boys are uh, on our case, but here we go. It's a bright sunny day and uh, we're ready to go. Yeah, let's go, baby. Welcome to YouTube. We got the bus empty right now. I don't know why. There's just the empty oh. on the bus. I can barely fit through right now, but we're getting on here and uh, we're packing and loading. Only the players who are playing today are uh, packing, so I think everyone will get a seat to themselves today. Um, we're going to place ourselves mid bus today. All right, here we go. Welcome to game day. Corbs, welcome to game day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fist bumps, fist bumps, fist bumps. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I got caught. I got caught. That's not good. Look at that. I messed up. That's too bad. I think I'll be okay. No cut. No cut. Let's go. Give me some. 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 Yep, 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 yep. The rest. Peace. That'll be a good one. That'll be, yeah. Obviously, it takes time to... Yeah, I mean, it'll be a few years to everything settles on that.
so stay with me throughout this process. Mila does not like it. I'm going home here. Let's go, it's fucking game day, baby. Give me a fist pump. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got my Get that salt. Oh. <laughs> Dialed in, we're heading into the rink, baby. Let's go. Time on the clock right now, 3.35. We cut drop at five o'clock, so this is gonna be a tight squeeze. This is gonna be exciting today. Let's see how we interact with uh, a little bit of adversity. You beast. Oh, sponsor. Go on now. Let's go, we're on the ice at, uh, what, 4.22? Here we go. What's that leave us with? About 50 minutes to get ready? Uh, no biggie. We don't got much time, we gotta get ready, so we're moving quick right now. Alright, this is how the stall looks. We got our helmets and gloves up there, we got everything below, we got this. Since I only got uh, a little bit of time, uh, I'm Taking the tape off my stick and then we're going up to warm up and then we'll be back in this location in uh, about 10 minutes time. But uh, the warm up trumps the tape stick so maybe we'll go out there without a tape stick, I don't know. I kind of like it this way because we keep the uh, oh! simplicity of content just moving. I can't even get this pumpkin tape off. It's off, we're going to go warm up now. Ready to go, boys are in the back, boys are in the front. Um, we're heading out to warm up so uh, I will see you fairly shortly. Oh, you guys want to? You want? You guys want in real bad? This guy loves the camera. <laughs> let's go. Hey, let's see the muzzy. Let's go. Show it a little bit. All right, we gotta go warm up now. I'll see you later. Peace. Warm up's all done. Boys are heading inside. Um, I'm gonna do some breath work just beforehand and then uh, we'll be wrapped up for warm up and then we'll be heading on the ice for 422. Like I said, I'll do a little bit of breath work. It'll only be for five minutes or so. I'm just going to keep breath in. And out. Four seconds in, um, hold, and then four seconds out. So I'm going super slow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And then I'll go from there. I don't have really much time when it comes to taping my stick today, so I'm gonna do it in a time lapse. We're all good to go. The stick is taped. We're gonna warm up quickly. We only got like 15 minutes until we gotta be on the ice. Let's go. And boom, we're ready to go. Cooking some ass tonight. Why not? What are they gonna do? And if I score today like three goals, what are you gonna say? Nothing. 
Okay. Let me get one. Okay. Don't walk. I'm what? Here. And if I if I do if I play the worst, don't do this before you. All right. That sounds good. Deal. Deal. All right. Cool. Fair enough. You hear that? If I don't do anything today, I'm not allowed to do it anymore. So per hunter limit. I'll see you soon. Post game, we won 6-2. I'll show you the score, actually right over here. Uh, score was 6-2 to two today. Uh, say the least, the boys were working hard. We got pucks deep. Uh, your casual saying in hockey, but uh, we worked them low a lot. That was like our kind of goal beforehand was to make sure we put pucks in behind their D because we knew that, the, that was their weak spot. We're starting to score from all areas of the lineup, which is really cool. It's not like individualized. So a lot of guys are getting on the points boards. A lot of guys are getting on the points board that haven't really been on the points board before, so that's good. And um, for me, it's holding on to puck. Shoot the freaking puck more. You probably hear it all the time. Literally shoot from everywhere. It doesn't matter anymore. Um, you see Connor Bedard score from anywhere. You can shoot from anywhere too. So uh, that's post game. I'm gonna go to go enjoy what's going on inside. So peace out. <laughs> Nothing happened. I want my towels back. Just kidding. Don't get naked. All right, that's away. What's up? Now we're throwing our bags on, on to the park inside the bus now. There we go. The night of the, the night, guys. The night of the night. You wanna you don't want a post game interview with me? Alright, let's okay. go. You got any questions, Lippman? Mm -hmm. Alright, favorite moment of the night. Probably when I scored. <laughs> Alright, how did you score tonight? Uh, the wheel what about the line, Chase. What about the win? I mean the win is great. Yeah. So here's the night of the night. I'll give you some context. Here's the night of the night. So we do the sword thing. You don't you didn't really see it as traditional. We'll try and keep the camera outside of the room. But uh, night of the night, we have Chase Cock in here. Uh, how did your goal go in? Uh, I drove wide, um, just put it on net, and ended up going in. There you go. Bada boom, bada bang. We got our bus. We're ready to leave. We want to leave. Look at that stash. Come on. <laughs> bus. King Bean, what happened to you? Paul, sorry. I want to thank you. What happened? Oh, you know. King oh. oh! What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happened, uh, King Eric? What? Uh, it hurt my foot, I think. Um, what, what exactly did you do did in I the do? game? What did I do, Paul? Did you say broke? Bro, that's sad. Um, what was the play? Uh, I was gonna say. I'm gonna unhip it, and I'm gonna say, I think apparently I broke it. Um, blocked the shot. Yeah, this guy soaked a pill tonight. Well done. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. All right, big win, big win, big win, big win, big win, big win, big win. Sorry, oh, I put your you camera in front of your face, but it's all good. All right, we're hitting the road. Let's go. I don't know what we're eating tonight, but we'll soon find out. Tonight, folks, we got uh, ourselves some salad. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Usually, it's average salad. And then we also have ourselves some pasta. I don't want it to like absolutely explode on me, but I'll give you a sneak peek into what it actually yeah. looks like. Oh, it's lasagna, I think. George, you can also sing. Fair change. Yeah, the salad. How good the salad? Salad like a, a seven six solid, solid dressing. It switched it up, and there's usually um, there's a decent amount of toppings. Usually when salads 
get catered. There's not much on there, so I cheers to it. Pasta here. We got chicken parm tonight. It's just a cause for disaster. Just a bunch of red sauce everywhere, but um, I gotta rate it though. I can give it like an 8, 2 out of 10. I don't need much pasta though, but on the road and after a win, we'll eat it up. Boys are unloading the bus now. Um, we're about to head off and uh, wrap it up for the night. Cody's the actual. No, apparently Cody's didn't say it. No, I think not Cody's not helping. Remember the last time they were here? All right, fellas. Get away, fellas. See you tomorrow. Am I good? Do it. Make sure And it's approximately 9.08. Let me put the lights on so you can actually see me. Uh, that's a wrap to our day. I'm not going to be doing more filming. I thank you for being along in this process. And uh, we'll go from there. Peace the heck out and I'll see you next time.